It's hard for me to decipher between exhaust and gasoline. <laughs> Maybe we should go sniff some gasoline and exhaust and compare the two, just you know, for the sake of this video. <laughs> that would be interesting. Greetings, Earthlings and Frag Commies. My name is Luke. I am Poe. And today on Lucas Poe, we have a very special edition of, of, of Mrs. Poe, even though she's not so much Poe. This. We are talking about modern masculine scents. These are scents that are going to be leaning a bit toward the masculine side of things, but they're not gonna smell dated, or they're not gonna smell like they're old manish, or they're not gonna smell like the chest hair scents of the 80s. Caitlin's going to determine which of these scents appeals to her nose, and she'll rate the dry down and the opening one to five, and at the end, we'll, uh, we'll put them in a mud pit and, and, and lube them up with Vaseline and, and let them rub mus mud, mud rustle, right? <laughs> and for the first one, scrolling at the bottom of your screen here is the opening. And the dry down. I don't know mm. what accent that was. I really like that one. Yeah? What do you like about it? It almost smells fruity. Fruity? Yeah. Okay. For the opening, what would you rate it? The opening, um, a four. A four? That's like almost best right out of the gate. It was really good. Okay. <laughs> and the dry down. Uh, the dry down, and it was a little more powdery to me and smelled like a little more traditional. Yeah. Um, uh, three. Where do you stand on powdery traditional scents? Do you like them? I like them. Okay. Next one on the list comes from one of my favorite houses. The opening. Okay. The dry down. Hmm. It smells very similar to the first one. Similar how? I feel like it smells sweet, the first, the opening, and then powdery on the dry down. This definitely is a sweeter one. So I guess compared to the first one, how do you feel about that one? Um, I think I still like the first one better. Okay, what's the opening? So let's, I'd say a three and a three. It smells like a vanilla or a mint Tic Tac. What? <laughs> it smells really good, like kind of like a vanilla mint. Vanilla mint Tic Tac. I'm not sure if I'm offended or proud. The dry down is very similar. So kind of linear, doesn't really change a whole lot. Yeah. I really like that one though. You really like mm -hmm. that one. I'd say both fours. That puts it in first place. I guess we're still married. <laughs> Opening. Okay. Dry down. Hmm. Opening. It kind of smells like candy. Candy? Yeah. Why are you on this Tic Tac candy? <laughs> I don't know. Is what? your blood sugar low? Mm. I really like it. Yeah? The opening. Um, three. Dry down. Three. Then the dry down. There's a lot of a difference. Between a lot two. of a difference. A lot of a difference. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm terrible at smelling today. Are you gonna say it smells like candy? <laughs> it smells sweet. Okay. Everything is smelling sweet. All right. Maybe like a little cherry. Cherry? Yeah. Some people do get like a grape soda That's opening. That's it, grape. Grape? Yes. I don't really get that, but some people out there do drugs. Like I got, I got grape. Opening? A three, dry downs two. This next one comes from courtesy of Chris over at the uh, the Nerdy Fragrance Bureau, but there's rumors he's, he's getting a, his own channel. Opening. Spicy. Mm hmm. Dry down. <laughs> it 
<laughs> definitely spicy um, on the opening. I can't really pin what it is on this dry down though. It's okay. Like that one's not my favorite on the list so far. Opening. Um, it was an interesting enough opening that it's a three. And the dry down. Two. Man. Sorry, Chris. The opening. Mm. Smoky. Dry down. <laughs> smoky two. Smoky two. Smoky one and smoky two. Could be it could be the gasoline or something. Yeah. That's, gasoline that smoke. Gasoline smell. Yeah. Okay. Opening. Um a four. Whoa. Dry down. A four. We have a, we have a tie. The first one you smelled that you gave it a, a four and a four. Give you the opening. It smells so different now. Almost like it changes. These are completely different scents. They are. Like this one's sweet and powdery. You called it a mint Tic Tac earlier. This was the mint Tic Tac one? Yeah. I don't smell mint Tic Tac anymore. <laughs> Huffing that exhaust. <laughs> Last one, opening. Mm, I love this one so much. <laughs> Dry down. What do you love about it? There's no comparison between the two. Um, I love, I don't know, it just smells like, I love the smell of gasoline. Yeah? It smells kind of like exhaust and like a wood shop type smell. How many sheds have you burnt down in your career as a pyromaniac? <laughs> no sheds have been burned down. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is by far the winner. Coming in at third place is the cheapest one on the list, surprisingly. Oh, wow. This one I got for $11 on fragrancebuy.ca. This is Oscar De La Renta, gentlemen. The bottle, not, not I mean, it's it's a giant domino, but uh. I have a pretty cool bottle. Okay, Mrs. Mint Tic Tac, this is a cool bottle. <laughs> You're losing your street cred with Fragcom. And second place, probably the most prized in my collection right now, or my favorite in my collection, Tom Ford. Beau de jour. This is modern masculinity in a bottle, as Eugenius said. It is kind of a modern take on the barbershop sense. It is a bit powdery, but you're just mostly going to smell clean, kind of gentlemanly. It is going to be a, a, a fresher scent, but it is going to remind you of those barbershop scents that came before it. This one is really nice, uh, really, really shines when you uh, are dressed up or going to the office. This one's going to be a great work scent. And the winner isn't really much of a surprise between you or I, because this is one that you love when I wear. This is Gucci Guilty Absolute, probably my favorite designer of all time. However, this is not a safe uh, buy. This is not a blind buy sort of scent. This does smell kind of like a wood shop exhaust, a leathery note. Some people kind of get a Band-Aid vibe off the top. It could be maybe like a latex uh, maybe vibe, but this one really is all about the leather, the woods, a little bit of smoke. This is by far the manliest on the list, and you know, my wife's got a good taste in the manliness, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That is going to wrap it up for us today, Frag Commies. Thanks for watching. Thank you for my beautiful wife, Caitlin, for making another appearance on this, uh, whatever this, this channel is. I mean, it's, it's hard to quantify with words. I mean, if we had to make an expression for how this, this channel was, it'd be because I'm like, You guys have a have a good little day out there if you if you go huffing gasoline or exhaust do it with adult supervision